hello everyone and welcome to my channel today i bring you some sad news as i announce the passing away of the founder of the synagogue church of all nation and emmanuel tv in the person of timitope balogun joshua popularly known as pastor tb joshua he died yesterday i don't know if he was sick or not but they said yesterday he did have a service and shortly after that he passed away he passed away at the age of 57 and he was just days away from his next birthday which would have been june the 12th may his soul rest in peace pastor tb joshua was not only an influential pastor but he was also more of a philanthropist and he helped a lot of people in Africa and beyond. And also on YouTube, I think he had the most viewed Christian channel on YouTube with over a million subscribers and followers on YouTube before his uh, ministry platform was suspended on YouTube. May his soul rest in peace and may his legacy live on. On another news, we'll be talking about uh, this girl in Cameroon that passed away yesterday from alleged poisoning by name Karin. Karin was allegedly poisoned yesterday. They said yesterday she went to hang out with her friends at a popular neighborhood in Yaoundé known as Karifu Emir. They went and had lunch and after lunch the, friend, the friends decided to put her uh, in a taxi to see her off and they gave a 10,000 note to the taxi driver to give them change. They said he should collect 2,000 francs and give them change. He said he didn't have any change on him. So they said, okay, no problem. He should just go with Karen and along the way he can look for change and give the balance to Karen. So uh, well, this is a narrative from the driver. There is still investigation into the story to actually know what happened, what transpired. So the driver said while on his way, uh, he discovered that Karen was beginning to feel, to react somehow and was make, like kind of feeling somehow uncomfortable. So he peeped through the window, the glass and he, the mirror and he saw that she was vomiting. He stopped the car and as he opened the back door, he discovered that she was not only vomiting, but she was passing on feces and peeing on her body at the same time. So with that kind of confusion and shock, he decided to rush with her to the neighboring hospital and he took her to uh, the BMRC hospital in Yaoundé as he got with her to Lopita BMRC. The doctors tried everything they could to save her, but it was rather unfortunate that the thing had eaten deep into her system. So the taxi man got with her to the hospital at about 2 p.m. And 4 p.m. or thereabout, she passed away. She died. And the doctor said uh, the symptoms and everything should be uh, symptoms of poisoning. But they are going to do an autopsy to confirm the real cause of her death. Her family has also opened an investigation into the matter to look into the cause of her death. Karen was only 22 and she was a very young and vibrant lady. She was a makeup artist. She was, she had a spa. She just opened her new business. Uh, she launched the business May 17th, just barely two weeks after and she's no more. So may she live on. She had she was a girl that she had a lot of things going on, a young entrepreneur, and her business was really booming. She was doing okay financial wise. She she was a traveled, she I would not say well traveled lady, but she had traveled to countries like Dubai. She used to go and buy things <clears throat> from Dubai and and so the business, the business place she opened, she had lots of services she was opening, she was doing, she was um she had a VIP haircut, a professional make. She was, she was, as we already know, a professional makeup artist. She was into hairstyling. She was even doing makeup training for people. She did facial treatment. She did skin care. She did massage. She did a whole lot of things. She sold makeup products. She, so this should just be an act of jealousy from the friends. Sometimes we just should really be careful with the people we surround ourselves with because people who don't know us will not have access to us to harm us except they plan us from afar but something like food poisoning like poisoning us through our drinks those things can only happen with people in our circle Africa sometimes I don't really know what we want. You succeed is a problem. You don't succeed is a problem. What do you people really want from our from our fellow beings? What do we want from us? We are just so envious in a way that 
I don't really know how to say it. It's scary. People will even begin to hide their real selves because if you make it in Africa now and the world and your fellow people know it, your friends are not even happy about it, they will plan a way to kill you, to end your life. Okay, their life, they've killed her. I said alleged poisoning because from the autopsy results, we'll get to really know the actual cause of her death. And I would really commend they should take the taxi man for questioning. They should take her phone and try to, 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 to look through her calls to know the friends that called her up. They should call the friends for questioning. They should like try to investigate her activities from day before yesterday until day yesterday to really know who she had been interacting with. They should not just pinpoint it on one particular person. This is really horrific. This is terrible. The killers, you've killed her, but you will not take over the life she was living. You will not take over her business. So at the end of the day, you will just see that our heart is just wicked. It's just evil. We are just evil over nothing. Sometimes we really should just be prayerful. When you go out and you come back in your home safely, just always be thankful to God for the life and for making you survive another day. My prayer is just that I will not die on timely death. So that will be it for my video for today. And please, if you're here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you already know how I hurt you. I love you guys for the genuine support. I'm nothing without you people. So do have a nice and lovely day, my people, and bye.